Atilio Montano Sanchez. Atilio Montano Sanchez, born in Villa de Ayala, Morlos, December 13, 1887, died in Buenavista de Cuellar, Guerrero. May 18, 1917, was a Zapatista general during the Mexican Revolution. Atilio Montano was born in Morlos to Esteban Montano and Guadalupe Sanchez in 1887. After finishing his studies in Cuautla, he taught in schools in Tepalcingo, Jonacatepec, and finally Ayala. In Yotepec, he became acquainted with Emiliano Zapata's cousin, Amador Salazar. In 1910, he supported Francisco Madero in his struggle against Porfirio Diaz and eventually joined Felipe Neri and Amador Salazar in forming the Zapatista agrarian movement in Morlos. Because Montano had some schooling and had worked as a school teacher, he was considered by the peasants of Morlos, who comprised the majority of Zapatista soldiers as an intellectual. After Zapata broke with Madero, Atilio Montano remained in Morlos, and in November 1911, together with Emiliano, co-authored the famous Plan of Ayala. Zapata dictated the text of the proclamation while Atilio wrote it down and proofread it. Subsequent to Victoriano Huerta's coup against Madero, Montano fought against Huerta and eventually became a member of the Zapatista ruling military junta, which was presided over by Emiliano Zapata and also included Eufemio Zapata, Genevivo de Lao Felipe Neri, Amador Salazar, and Manuel Palafox, who acted as the secretary. In December 1914, Montano accompanied Zapata to the first meeting with Pancho Villa at Xochimilco, where he gave the welcoming speech and introduced the two chiefs to each other. In early 1917, Montano came into conflict with some of the other Zapatista generals. As a result, he was sent to the town of Buenavista de Cuellar. Soon, however, an anti-Zapata pro-Caranza revolt broke out in the town and Montano was put in charge of suppressing it. Even though he had the leader of the rebellion hanged, he was accused of actually heading the rebellion. Although he vigorously denied the charges influential Zapatistas including Manuel Palafox and Antonio Dias Soto y Gama argued strongly that he was in fact guilty. Zapata left the matter to his advisers. A revolutionary tribunal was formed and Palafox and Soto presented evidence which was for the most part circumstantial. Montano in turn accused the two of having betrayed the Zapatista revolution. After being found guilty, Montano was denied last rites and had a sign hung around his neck which stated so die all traitors to the fatherland. Palafox refused to let him die facing the firing squad, a customary courtesy usually granted to the condemned who requested it. On May 18, 1917, he was executed, proclaiming his innocence to the end. Equals equals references equals equals.